Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raymond and today I am going to be sharing to you guys my October reading wrap up. So I am actually happy with the books that I've read for the month of October and I really did not expect that I am going to read 7 books for the month of October and I'm going to share to you guys the books that I've read for the month of October. But before that, I am going to announce some of the things that I'm looking forward for the month of November. So for the month of November, I'm looking forward with the book club that I co-hosted which is the Blu-ray book club and our live discussion and the book of the month for November is Ta -da! What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera and our live discussion with this one will be on November 28, 2020 and that is Saturday 8 o'clock p.m. and for the first time this live discussion will be on my channel. I hope that I can see you guys there but basically I'm pretty much excited about this. I am actually happy to announce that the Readables Book Club are now on board because last October we actually postponed the book club for a lot of reasons. One example is we have a conflict in the schedule. So for this month, for November, we are announcing and I'm really, pretty really much happy that uh, the book club is now on board. And for the month of November, we decided to still go with the book of the month for October, which is postponed. And that book is ta -da! The Nightingale by Christine Hanna. And the live discussion of this book will be on November 21, 2020, 8 o'clock. So our live discussion for this one is going to be on the Reading Slum Journeys channel. So I will link her channel down below so you can guys check it out. But again, I'm pretty much happy because the book club is now on board with together with this one. So this will be on November 21 and this is going to be on November 28th. So both Saturday 8 o'clock p.m. So this one during this long journey's channel and this one for the first time on my channel. So I hope you guys um, join our live discussion and let's go and I believe that it's going to be Fun. So that's what I really am looking forward for the month of November. So again, for the month of October, I read seven books and actually the, I read a lot of different genres in this uh, October because I actually tried reading mystery novels and somehow horror books. So without further ado, let's go on and start. So the first book that I actually finished is ta -da! Shine by Jessica Jung and this book I have a book review so if you wanted to see it I will link it on the icons but basically this story is about a female character named Rachel Kim wherein she wanted to be a K-pop star so she has been working and training her whole life to be a K-pop star and I really did enjoy this so much because Jessica Jung, if you are not familiar, is actually a former K-pop artist from Girls' Generation. And guys, to be honest, in this book, Jessica Jung really spills some tea. When it comes to the K-pop industry, I am intrigued of, you know, if it's really true. But, you know, based on what I saw on the book reviews and some of the videos that I've watched regarding this book, you know, there is somehow... Yeah, I can see it and but anyway, let's go back to the fictional character in this novel which is I really did enjoy. The characters are good and I will not be more into particular because I have a book review on this. But again, I gave this book a 5 stars. And adding to that, there will be a sequel with this book so I really am excited about that. So yeah, again, 5 stars. So the next book that I finished is ta -da! Stalking Jack the Reaper by Carrie Monoscalco. And I gave this book a 4 stars and to be honest, this has been my first uh, journey when it comes to um, mystery, crime, murder, and stuff like that because I'm not really into that kind of genre but again, I did enjoy this book and it is a bit of a historical uh, murder mystery because we follow our main character in this story which is Audrey who is somehow loves forensic science. Our main character, she is helping her uncle to solve a murder case by the autopsy and stuff like that but I really did enjoy this book so much mainly because it is set in the Victorian era which I really do love the historical element of this novel I really did enjoy it I also have a reading blog on this so you can guys check it out but I did enjoy this and I gave it a 4 star the next two books that I actually finished is two audiobooks which is from the same author and the title is Coraline and the Graveyard Book and I both gave it a 5 stars mainly because I really do love 
the um, the aspect or you know the the duration of our author which is Neil Gaiman and the full cast of Graveyard Book it was just so amazing I really did enjoy it so much like I also have a reading blog on it you can guys check it out but basically I really did enjoy the story and I keep on comparing of anong bang mas maganda is it Coraline or is it the Graveyard Book but I did really enjoy this book so much like Neil Gaiman if you really love somehow a fantasy spooky horror or not like it's not really that horror but it's it's a spooky kind of book. So you can guys check Neil Gaiman's book and of course with his audiobook on script. If you wanted to have two months free, you can guys go and check on my links on the description box. So you will have two months free and I will have one month free. So it's a win-win situation guys. And if you will do that, I suggest to you know to listen to any Neil Gaiman's book because it's really amazing. And again, I gave both books a 5 stars. So the next book that I actually finished is ta -da! The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. And I gave this book a solid 2 stars. So first of all, I really do again apologize to all of the fans of this book, The Haunting of Hill House. To be honest, I really am in love with the Netflix show. I really did enjoy the Netflix show. It was a jump scare. I really did love the story. I did I really do love it. The you know the cinematography of that um that show. But anyway with this book I think the reason why I am not really invested with this book mainly because I think I'm not the kind of reader for this one since I'm really new into horror genre at the same time this book is a bit old. It was published I think way back before I'm not yet born when this was published but again I'm really 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 am sorry for all of the fans of this book but again I still gave it a two stars. So the next two books is I haven't really mentioned it on my video because all of the books that I've mentioned a while ago is it's either on my uh, reading vlog or in my book review. So the last two books that I've read for the month of October is Ta-da! The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I really did enjoy this. You know, there are a lot of scenes here that is really, really mind-blown with this book. So The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang is a fantasy novel and we follow our main character which is Rin who is a war orphan in this story. And she was adopted by a random family and she lived in a place or in a province that is tagged as the least wealthiest provinces in their country. Family wanted her to marry a man three times older than her and to be honest, she does doesn't want that. Our main character really doesn't want to get married. At the same time, she doesn't want to have children. And if you read this book, you know what she did there. You know, you know what she did on that kind of scenario. But and I really did enjoy that scene. It's a bit of you know, but I really did enjoy it. Basically, our main character doesn't really want it to marry a man and to give birth. So she decided to go into the school, into the academy named Sinigard. So the Sinigard is somehow a high rank academy. And then she passed there. She actually um, took everything to just to go and to be a part of that academy. So once she entered the academy, she will learn a lot of military tactics. At the same time, unfortunately, with our main character, she was actually bullied there because of her color, her economic status and her gender so there is a lot of racism in this story then her country will be somehow gonna be preparing for a war for another puppy war and our main character will soon realize that she has a little power so it's really a mystery of what is that power but at the uh, latter part of the story or in the middle of the story you will learn that you know she has this kind of power and I really did enjoy this book but Again, there is some of the loopholes that I saw in this book and there is a lot of things that is really, really hard to get. But again, I am happy that I read The Poppy War because the last scenes here is somehow... I am really, really mind blown and you know, what is really happening, it was just really, really... I really can't explain the ending because it was really good and I am actually preparing for the second book which is The Dragon Republic and I'm just really uh, taking care of my mental health because there is a lot of bigger warnings in this novel but again I gave this book a 4 stars. And the last book that I actually finished for the month of October is Tada! Truly Divis by Maureen Johnson and I gave this book a 4 stars and this is the book of the month for Blu-ray book club for the month of October and I really did 
enjoy our live discussion and I will link it down on the description below but damn it was really great I, I had really a great time uh, doing a live discussion so truly Devious is a story is a YA murder mystery novel and we follow two timelines which is the first is the 1930s and the present time. In the 1930s, there is an academy called Ellingham Academy wherein it is a private school in Vermont and it is founded by Albert Ellingham. Unfortunately, with Albert Ellingham, his family, particularly his daughter and his wife, was actually kidnapped in this story and the only clue that was given by the so-called truly devious is through a riddle. So the disappearance of the loved ones of Albert Ellingham has been the greatest unsolved cases in the history. So our main character, which is T.D. Bell, in the present time will try to unsolve the case. So I really did enjoy this book as a whole. This book is the first book in the series and personally I really did enjoy this book so much. I mentioned it on the live discussion that I really did enjoy this book and I really did not expect anything with this novel and I have to say that this book is not for everyone because there are a lot of people who didn't really love this book but for me as a first book in a series it was really uh, satisfying. I'm still looking forward with the sequel of this book so I'm still waiting for my copy and yeah I really did enjoy it. I really did love the mystery kind of story in this book and I still recommend this. So these are the books that I've read for the month of October. So how about you guys? What have you read for the month of October? You can guys share it on the comment section down below. So once again, thank you for watching and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and if you wanted to see more about my bookish side, you can click subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Bye!